What's going on, everyone? It's time to talk about another slasher film review. Today, we're going to talk about a movie called Popcorn. What a weird name for a slasher film. But yeah, first off, if it sounds like I'm whispering and trying to be quiet because my roommate's sleeping next door, so we're trying to not wake him up. But yeah, so Popcorn. It's released February 1st, 1991, and it was directed by Mark Harrier, who also did Porky's. Porky's 2, The Next Day, and Porky's Revenge. He also did films like Tank, Real Men, and Daddy's Girls. This had a box office earnings of $4.2 million. It wasn't a huge success or anything, but it was, this one's most well known for being a cult classic because it's the first like slasher film, before Scream anyways, that uh, was meta. <laughs> and basically uh, helped coin that term. So this is your run-of-the-mill slasher film. There's a lot of references to other movies and slasher tropes and everything where they know how to survive it. But the whole story is basically fans of horror and slasher films um, are all in this film writing class and uh, they tend to throw on um, a multiple showing uh, film festival sort of event at this abandoned theater that it's about to get knocked down so they're gonna have this one big party for so they invite everyone out and it's on halloween and they have like all those like silly uh retro uh 50s films and stuff like this movie called mosquito and they have a big mosquito that's supposed to fly over the crowd and uh, things like that <laughs> tons of like shock treatments for <laughs> And the seats will shock for like people who get shocked on screen and stuff. A lot of fun things like that in it, which actually happened in the 50s and stuff. So, um, yeah. But uh, amidst all this, as that's going on, there's an elusive killer that's never been caught. And that's uh, um, starting to kill off some of the people thrown on the film festival and stuff in the theater and killing off some of the theater goers so they have that on their hands to worry about as well and so as the film goes on they learn of who the killer possibly is and then they eventually show have a showdown with the killer and try to solve the problem basically it's a run-of-the-mill slasher film um one thing with the problem with this whole film is it's very cheesy and there's not very many kills and then like the kills we get were pretty amusing and stuff like that most of them are after shots of it but overall um i thought the kills were lacking and uh it wasn't really cool i love the setting of this film and uh the way they portray how film audiences were and stuff it definitely has a rocky horror picture show type of vibe <laughs> and uh yeah it's definitely way more 90s than it is now and um but that's back when we could get away with a lot more stuff and things like that so you can't just like now we have to censor murder and sexual assault and everything on videos because people won't stop complaining and not sucking it up anyways um so yeah, so the kills were lacking in this for a slasher film. The killer looked pretty neat. It was like burnt makeup and stuff like that. You know, they also gave him a cool disguise where he's a professional mask maker, basically. He can make everyone's face into a mask, which is cool. And they sort of did like a terror train almost sort of style of kill ones there. But once you figure out who the killer is, that's not really a mystery. It's more like how easy you like him dressed and stuff, which is part of the fun. But overall, I thought this film was lacking the kills and uh, overall it just takes a while for it to get started and then other than that though it's a pretty good run of the mill slasher film good popcorn flick <laughs> so um yeah there's not much really to write home about about it or anything like that so i'm gonna give popcorn a three and a half out of five it's amusing it's fun but you know what you're getting into with a little meta mixed in with it so yeah, you know, this sounds like something you're interested in, though. I'll link the film down below where you can watch it for free. And also make sure you check out my Instagram. It's linked down below. That's where I always post clips of films and review in the future. All my stories, you have the film title and hashtag and subject film and the hashtag so you're aware of it. Also link down below down below is my letterbox and Derek P reviews. That's where I post my first start writing after watching the films. So follow me on one of those two platforms and loop of this channel. Like this video, share it to more people aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. And also, if you have any films or film franchises in any genre that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below too. I'll try to get them as soon as I can and if I can find them.
make sure you subscribe hope you find something weird obscure and odd that you probably never thought of checking out together somewhere like this also so you hear my opinions on popular films classic films and reviews on other things as well and uh also by the way you can find this movie on shutter if you have shutter <laughs> it's on there so yeah but um yeah make sure you ring that bell because well we're gonna talk to we're gonna dive into another slasher killer movie franchise that's pretty big and that's the chucky franchise so killer doll movies i've only done the original and the 2019 remake but we're gonna do all the sequels two three Round of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, Curse of Chucky, and Cult of Chucky. So we got six films coming up. So, yeah, hopefully you're ready for that. So make sure you ring that bell. Tune in for those, in, which will be Child's Play 2. So tune in for that. And, uh, yeah, but in the meantime, watch out for all those killers lurking in your local movie theater. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers.